So, Josh, two interesting questions here. We've got Scott Faraday, one win, two losses, Dan Green making his debut. So the two questions are this. Will the experience tell, even though it's two losses, say, from three fights against a debutant, and with the backgrounds from the camps of these two men, can you see it you going ready? straight to the ground? Dan, you ready? Fight. Well, Scott Faraday has got those three fights experience, and they are definitely going to play a part here for him. He's just going to be a bit more used to the anxiety and the build-up that comes into stepping inside the cage. As you said, Malcolm, both these guys coming from good jiu-jitsu camps, Andy Roberts, BJJ, and Nova Forcer, and immediately, as we can see, they're going to put this jiu-jitsu to the use here on the ground. Looking for that armbar on the right arm. He's got a good left over grip here. But Scott Faraday's, well, he was holding onto the head, which is always a bit questionable, inside guard. A lot of hip movement coming from Dan Green on the bottom, looking for a Kimura or a triangle now. But from the bell, for us, that went straight to script, didn't it? Yeah, clearly that uh, neither man particularly wanting to, to stand up here. There's lots of, of half setups coming from Dan Green at this stage, but he hasn't really followed through on any of them yet. He's hooked the arm, looking for the arm bar. He's grabbed the wrist, looking Come for Kimura. He's pushed the arm, this, looking please. for the Otherwise triangle, as we can see up. now. But he's never really pulled the you trigger on it. any of these techniques yet. The one thing in his favor, though, as you said, because this is his debut, and as he's fighting someone from a similar background, okay, guys, it will okay, help him work his way in up. to this fight more than, say, if he had someone with a far more rounded background that would say maybe minutes, want to stay up and test okay. him upright. Five. At least for him in his debut, it's an area he knows yeah, well. He, he perhaps probably a bit more comfortable there and you know, just a, a bit more relaxed because it's something he's used to, but a bit of a wrestling exchange there as Faraday made absolutely no question of the fact that he wanted to throw that overhand right and shoot for the takedown off it. A couple of knees coming in there from Dan Green in that upright position. And as you said again, we knew where they wanted to be. Yeah, I couldn't quite see what happened in that takedown exchange. But it's Scott Faraday 
looking for the Kezakatami on the top, but with just the head, he couldn't secure the position. And moving very nicely to the back is Dan Green. Bit of hand fighting here is going to be needed by Scott Faraday. Yes, it's the debutant that's got the position. Yeah, he appears to have a good squeeze in on under the neck. Could just be a matter of time here. He's going to have to try and separate the hands. And he has got time, Josh. Desperate moments now for Scott Faraday, the more experienced man. And he has tapped, and he has tapped. What a great debut for Dan Green. But as we said, possibly against a fighting style and a fighter that suited him. Yeah, if you're, gonna, if you're a jiu-jitsu guy and you're coming in and you want to settle into the fight, the best type of guy you can fight is another jiu-jitsu guy. It's just going to be a realm that you're just a bit more comfortable in. And we saw it there. He moved very nicely to the back, very quickly and you know was under the throat within a matter of seconds and from there it was a good slow solid squeeze a lot of hip pressure on the back good submission and a good win in his first outing ladies and gentlemen we have a winner by rear naked choke in the very first round at two minutes 24 seconds please put your hands together fighting out of the red corner Dan Green.